The future of the former Westwood Country Club is still undetermined tonight. Investors have proposed a multi-million dollar redevelopment at Sheridan and North Forest, which would include new homes, apartments, even a hotel and neighborhoods with green space. At tonight's meeting, the Amherst Town Board discussed an environmental review of the project. Two on your side, Danny Spiewak joins us live from the Country Club to explain what that means for this project moving forward. Danny. Yeah, Mary Alice and Scott, basically what that means, what the town board's actions mean tonight is that they're moving forward the environmental review process. Uh, it's almost finished. That's what you got to do before you get to any rezoning issues. But really, we saw the report tonight, the environmental review commissioned by the town that really raised some concerns about the environmental impact and some things that are going to be needed to address by the town board in the coming months. But really, the main thing we learned and this fence has been sitting here for two years and people have had so many questions here in the town is that we have learned that the new town board, the newly elected town board, is going to have to really make this decision starting next year. The old Westwood site is serving as a temporary parking spot right now, but eventually an investment group named Mensch Capital Partners envisions turning this plot of land into housing, senior living, and some green space. Across the street, though, neighbors have signs in their yards indicating that they're not so thrilled with the idea. We don't want to be up against a brand new development. Mark Rivard lives a few blocks down from the site. He's concerned about the traffic a new development might bring, and he's worried about how the project would impact flooding and sewers. Which would really be unfair to a thousand acres on one side and a thousand acres on the other side. Neighborhoods that have been there forever. The town board has some questions too. It commissioned an environmental review, which pointed out some problems. Among them, a concern that the development as proposed could overwhelm the sanitary sewer capacity. Deputy Supervisor Stephen Sanders says the review will complicate matters for the next town board, which will be installed after the new year. Just because the project as proposed doesn't make sense doesn't mean that they can't come up with some other project and enough uh, infrastructure improvements that would allow something to go forward. The developer has already adjusted its proposal several times to add park space, among other changes. The investors also believe this project would create millions in property tax revenue and bring hundreds of new permanent jobs. An attorney for Mensch Capital Partners was at the meeting tonight, but uh, didn't comment. They are declining to offer a statement at this point because they still have some litigation. They're suing the town of Amherst over the process and how this is all played out. So they're not commenting until then. This has got a long ways to go, though. You'd have to get to the planning board when it gets to the rezoning issue. The environmental impact statement is just one part of that. Uh, but that the environmental review could be finished by the end of this year. Reporting live here in the town of Amherst, Danny Spiewak, Channel 2 News.